So my student, this is what we're going to explore uh, in the next approximately about 15 minutes. Uh, the first thing that we want to achieve is to get some uh, understanding about the concept of sampling. And uh, later on, what we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you uh, types of sampling methods that we can engage in our research. Well, before we go any further, let's go back to the basic. What do you think? What is sampling? Well, sampling, according to most of the scholars, they see it as a process that involves taking or making a representative selection from the population. And sampling most probably will be our group of people that we're going to collect the data from. And according to Free, what does it mean by sampling is it is a representative or subgroup from a population. So, based on these two uh, definitions about sampling, we can have some a very brief understanding. Sampling is actually a group of people or maybe a situation that, uh, that we go in together from a larger group of so-called people or data. And let's have a look on uh, what uh, Stack and Hawking uh, say about uh, sampling. According to them, when we talk about sampling, it is a process. This is what they mean by a way of obtaining a group of people or objects to study that will be able to represent the larger group of population or what we call our interest. So based on these three, what we call definition, we may have some basic ideas what is all about sampling. So I may suggest to you, when we talk about sampling, we are talking about a process of getting or identifying and choosing a group of people from a larger population. So, I hope that at this stage, you are very clear about what is sampling. Well, to make you more understand and to make you able to visualize, let's move to this slide. Remember, we're talking about sampling is we're taking something, a group of people from a larger population. The concept of population, we can explain as a group of people and every what we call uh, individual in the population, we call it as element. And as we defined just now, sample is derived from what we call the population. When we have or when we choose a group of people from the population, it means to say that we're having a sample. And every single individual in the sample, we know them as a subject. Well, so now I hope that you have a very clear understanding about what is sampling. The next thing, what we're going to explore is types of sampling. Basically, there are two main categories of sampling. We call it the first one, probability sampling, and the second one, non-probability sampling. What makes different of these two? When we talk about probability sampling, it's referred to a sampling where every single what we call elements in the population 
have an opportunity to be chosen as a sample whereas when we talk about non probability sampling it explain as a process which every individual in the population may not have so called opportunity same opportunity to be chosen as sample so let's explore much more detail about what are those types of probability sampling the first one is what we call simple random sampling when we talk about simple random sampling it means to say that we have a process of random we just choose whoever from the population to be our sample without having any procedure any rules or any criteria that's the first one simple random sampling now let's move to the second type of probability sampling which is systematic sampling what is systematic sampling systematic sampling meaning to say that it is a process on how we choose a person or individual from population as a sample with certain certain criteria this is where we call it systematic sampling systematic sampling also can be understand as a process of choosing a sample which we have to abide or we which we have to follow certain certain rules or criteria maybe for example we have 10 people of the population so we want to choose only 3 so we list their name according to number 1 2 3 so every third person that we list we will choose them as our sample that is what we mean by systematic sampling the third types of probability sampling is what we call stratified random sampling well this is the keyword stratified meaning to say that this is a process where we have a much more tight criteria we have to follow much more what we call a very rigid rules before one can be choose as a sample and stratified random sampling can be identified in two types the first one we call it proportionate for example in the context of we people in Malaysia when we want to do research we might want to have Malay Chinese Indian so these three categories of ethnic we already stratified them then if we choose to have a proportionate meaning to see that we will choose these three group of ethnic according to certain certain numbers or certain certain ratio this is what we call stratified random sampling with proportional how about the next type of stratified random sampling we call it disproportionate what does it mean it is against of the first one meaning to say that although we have three types of ethnic in Malaysia we don't bother how many we want meaning to say that we are not going to choose them equally we just choose them according to our needs this is what we mean by disproportionate meaning to say that when we choose these two, three groups they might not equally being represented this is what we mean by disproportionate now let's have a look on the following probability sampling types which is cluster sampling what is cluster sampling cluster sampling can easily be understand as 
a process where we choose our sample according to certain certain section for example like we live in malaysia in particular peninsula malaysia we might have northern region middle region or eastern region or southern region so we might only focus on this certain certain section this is what we mean by cluster sampling and the final uh, type of property sampling is array sampling array sampling is a sampling process which depend or accordingly to the geographical so called perspective so this is all five types of probability sampling now let's move to non probability sampling my dear student in non probability sampling there are four kinds of them the first one is convenience sampling convenience sampling is a process of choosing a sample according to our suitability for example we may not have a list of people we just simply choose them to be our sample we may not have a list of their name but we just go to the field and get them as our sample this is what we call as convenience sampling the second type of non probability sampling is purposive sampling or also known as judgmental sampling this kind of sampling is referring to a process where we choose a sample because we want them to represent certain certain purpose for example if you want to study about how uh, the handicapped people communicate how those who cannot talk those who cannot hear communicate so this group of people we were only focusing on them and this is why we call it purposive sampling and the third type of non probability sampling is what we call quota sampling quota sampling meaning to say that what we will do is we will first identify how much or how many people we want to be we want them to be choose as a sample after we set the numbers and then we will just choose anyone from the population until we have enough numbers of what we call sample that is what we mean by quota sampling and the fourth and the final probability sampling is what we known as snowball sampling have you ever played snowball well you just imagine a snow that you make it round like the ball and then you start to roll it on the road what's going to happen yes it's going to roll and the ball is getting bigger bigger and bigger this is what we mean by snowball sampling is a process of getting the sample by first go to one person and from that one person we ask that sample or we ask that respondent do she or he know another person who similar to him or her and then from he or her recommendation we will get the second third and so on so my student this is uh, those two types of sampling which is probability sampling and non probability sampling well if you need to get better understanding i would like you and i would recommend it to you to have this book baby communication research book to get a better and further as well as detailed explanation about what is all about sampling so that's all for today and for now 
till we meet again thank you very much and good luck thank you